In this video, I'm going to go over whether or not I believe a cybersecurity degree is worth it. I'm going to go over five reasons why I do believe a cybersecurity degree is worth it. And I'm also going to go over five reasons why I think a cybersecurity is completely useless and you should not pursue it whatsoever. I have timestamps below so you can go to any section that you want to. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and I would really appreciate it. I actually got my master's degree degree in cybersecurity and information assurance six months ago from Western Governors University. I have some reviews on that if you want to go check that out. I'm not sponsored. I honestly genuinely feel that they're one of the best schools on the market for tech that you could go to. They're also extremely affordable and you can do as many classes as you want in a term. That right there is leverage. <laughs> leverage. And when choosing a degree, you always want to keep ROI in mind. And ROI is return on investment. Is the time and money you put in going to return investment over a long period of time. So for instance, if you spend $200,000 on a degree and it takes you four years, was it worth your time and investment on your potential income earnings? And what did you learn in those six months versus the five years in college that you may or may not have spent drinking? The first reasons you should absolutely get a cybersecurity degree is because it is often a requirement for large bureaucratic organizations. I don't say that lightly, like they won't even look at your resume if you don't have a degree because they're so large and bureaucratic, they just go off checklists and it doesn't really matter how competent you are, it just matters that you match all the other checklists and then that's like a risk mitigation thing for you must be a good hire because you have a degree. It's a little bit like a, a modern day caste system, except unlike a caste system, you can elevate your status in life by getting this degree. The second reason I would suggest getting a cybersecurity degree is it often takes away years of experience. And when I say that, I've seen tons of job descriptions where it says if you have a master's degree, it's only zero years of experience. And if you don't have any degree at all, it's 30 years experience. Maybe not 30 years, but you know what I mean. If you don't have the experience, a degree can help you get that experience. Keep in mind the return of investment when doing this. If you go to a really expensive private school and spend $200,000, it's not gonna give you much of a difference than if you went to a public school and spent like $10,000. The next reason why I really think a cybersecurity degree would be worth it would be that it puts everything you need in one place. And cybersecurity is such a huge field that you can get overwhelmed and lost if you don't have any help. You might just kind of give up. Whereas if you take a degree program, everything is planned for you and it's planned by people who know how to plan things, right? And they know what you need to become competent in something. And they have all of the information right there for you. And you just go through the class and you have instructors to help you. You have your classmates to help you. And it could be a lot of fun. Whereas if you try to make your own degree plan without any experience in the field, you can get just overwhelmed, lost and confused and just give up. And you don't have anyone keeping you accountable whether or not you finish it. And especially if you're not paying money. So that's a big thing. Like people do a lot of things just because they paid money for it. So they're most likely to commit and stay committed for good reason why a degree is worth it. It comes with a lot of support options. You have course instructors, you have other students to help you. You have extracurricular activities, proper professionals coming in and talking to you about things. So you can get really good context. It's really hard to go alone and do it by yourself. Keeping yourself accountable to someone, whether that be your cats or your husband or your plants, really important to pursuing your goals. Fifth and final reason why a degree in cybersecurity is worth it, whether that be a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or an associate's degree, is that it can be used as a bargaining chip for extra money. So it's it acts as leverage. I need at least $20,000 extra because I have this master's degree and I bring all of this expertise that other people don't have because I'm just that great with my master's degree. Yes. 
Now, five reasons that you should not get a degree are number one, you're not guaranteed anything. So say you choose the best private school and you spend $200,000 on this degree, you're not guaranteed a job afterwards. A lot of getting a job is really your network, your social skills, how well you can sell, market, and present yourself. So if you spend all this money on a degree but don't do anything else, like work on yourself, and then you're unable to find a job, then you may just have all this debt and have no idea how to find a job. Whereas if you didn't get a degree, you would most likely have to develop those skills a little bit more, perseverance and hard work, because you have to compensate for your lack of degree. My second reason that you should not get a degree in cybersecurity or really tech in general is that it teaches consumption over production. And what I mean by this is you need tech and cybersecurity, information technology, computer science, software engineering is all about solving problems and helping people solve their problems or creating things that solve problems. And school doesn't teach you that. It's a totally different mindset. It teaches you to consume information, memorize answers, and then pass a test. That is not gonna work in the real world and it took me a really long time to get over just consuming knowledge and not doing anything with it. You don't need to just consume knowledge and not do anything with it. You need to produce things with the knowledge you get. Anything you learn, you want to do something with that knowledge. Say you want to make a course and maybe sell it on Udemy. Maybe you want to make a project and post it to GitHub. Maybe you want to make a study guide and then give that to people or maybe some Anki card, something. Do something with that knowledge to turn it out. My third reason that you should not get a cybersecurity degree, it doesn't teach competence and it doesn't teach you how to produce results. It just teaches you how to memorize answers on a test. It doesn't make you competent. And the only way you're going to get competent is by doing projects, doing internships, doing maybe just working for free. And that will give you way more confidence than just making an A on a class. Your, your grades don't matter at all. The C's make degrees. Do not confuse competency with credentials, completely different things. And that's my thoughts on that. Next reason that you should not pursue a degree in cybersecurity is the return of investment. And this actually could be a reason you should get a degree or shouldn't get a degree depending on the ROI. So how long is it going to take you? Number one, don't discount your time. How much does it cost? And that includes the money lost that you could working. So say you, it's gonna take you four years and the degree is going to cost $30,000 a year. Four times $120,000 just for the degree over four years, but also a factor in your lost income. We'll just say you're going to make $60,000 a year for an entry level cybersecurity job over four years, you're, you're not working, you're just going to school, that is $240,000 lost, plus the original $120,000 lost, that's $360,000 over four years. Don't just look at the upfront, but also look at the back end. However, if you got an online degree and you worked while you were getting that online degree, and the online degree was pretty cheap, you know, $4,000 a term, then the ROI would be extremely good on that because you're getting experience, you're getting the degree, and you're not spending that much money on the degree. The ROI is fantastic. Another reason not to get a degree is it can pigeonhole you into one career. Getting a degree in cybersecurity can pigeonhole you in cybersecurity. Whereas if you got a degree in computer science, you would have more options. Because if employers see that you got a degree in cybersecurity, they're gonna want to keep you in cyber security. Whereas if you get a job in computer science, it's more versatile in general and applies to all of tech. So you can easily switch fields because like I have a computer science degree and they just register that as in you're really technical and you're competent or data analytics or cybersecurity is because you don't know. Whereas a computer science degree is more general and might be a better ROI long term. Now, and say in 20 years or 10 years, you're still gonna have that computer science degree. However, the field may change. So right now they really need cybersecurity professionals, but then it might be really different. It might be they need AI professionals, but yet you have this cybersecurity degree. Was my WGU master's degree worth it after six months? And the answer is yes. And I say yes, and here's my reasoning, is because it took me six months, $4,000, and immediately after I got my degree, I got promoted with a raise that definitely covered my tuition in one year. It was just done. 
I would definitely say that it was worth it and it really showed that I had initiative. But if it had taken me two years and a hundred grand, I would definitely say no, because then it would take me 20 years to get my ROI on that degree. And that's 20 years from now. I mean, I probably won't even have a nine to five job. And that's my thought on that. So I hope you enjoyed my reasons you should get a cybersecurity degree and my five reasons why you shouldn't get a degree. Also, please comment right now if you have any questions and then like this video now, go see, and subscribe if you want to learn all about upskilling or to get a job in tech. And I will see you the next video. Bye.